heard I heard your rant over there about womanhood. So you I just heard thought my rant? So it's not just the gender pay gap. It's domestic violence. It's lack of child care. It's on and on and on. It's an, a web. I've yet to come across a 12 or 13-year-old child who's out there because she wants to. She's being forced. Are you scared to be standing here with all these lights? Do you want us to move somewhere else? Yeah. I feel so bad. She is so great right now. <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch's latest attempt to sexualize girls as young as seven or eight. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. Five men are testifying on women's health. Where are the women? I don't see one single woman. A male and a female in society and other animals, the, the male typically is the, the dominant role. Messy violence shelters are closing all over this country. What the hell is going on here? Why is it okay to treat half the human race like this? I set off across the country. I'm taking a snapshot of where we are as Americans on the issue of equal rights. We're put in a position at odds with our usual position, which is moving ahead so we could get equal rights. Instead, we're having to fight to retain rights we won 30 years ago. The biggest force against us at the moment is the propaganda saying it's over. The war on women is shameless, baseless propaganda. There's no fact to it, but it's worked because it's scared women to death. Enough, enough. Is there a war on women? And if there is, what does it look like? I decided to take a look, one issue at a time. This really is a war against women. You have the attacks on women's reproductive health care, and then you have this, this onslaught of slashing all these programs. Most women in this country believe in general they're protected under the Constitution, and that is, that is not the reality. Which federal law? No, that's interesting. I, I didn't know that. So, and then you're right. You make a good point that the fact that I don't know that um, that says a lot, too. I set out to meet the women behind the statistics and to find out how we might turn things around. A constitutional amendment is a guarantee. If you have a bad election, they can't take away your rights. It's the guarantee from one generation to the next. Women don't have that. If women would unite and use their votes to encourage people to support it, it would pass overnight. We're 53% of the population. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all and equal rights for women in the United States of America. The Equal Rights Amendment, it's a matter of principle. It's what this nation stands for. Men want two things. They want sex, they want their own babies. That's such a, a sexist statement about a male human being. They're still yapping about women not getting the same pay as men. Women like to marry a man who earns more than they do. <laughs> the idea, now that you know that women and men are legally not equal in the United States, what do you think of, of that? Uh, I thought we were better than that. <laughs>